So look at this. Oh, when I showed you the pieces that we were going to be doing home acid testing and cleaning with, this was completely covered. I could see just some pieces of crystal sticking out. And this is after 20 minutes. So And it's crumbling. So we have, it's pretty fragile. So I probably won't clean this. I won't let this uh, soak probably more than a couple more hours. But look at it. Oh my gosh. So it removed it really quickly. Again, not calcite or aragonite. We got zero reaction with the vinegar when this was dumped in vinegar uh, at room temperature. But after I added the hot water, all of these iron oxides started to break down. And I just grabbed this piece and I'm like, whoa, I can't believe how much it removed. All right. So this is going to be our next piece in Mineral Lab. Uh, subscribe to Win Free Rocks and get notifications so you can ID with me. All right, they're really bubbling now. Okay, here's a tip, which is going to sound silly and obvious, but I don't know, since it's newer, I'll throw it out there. I had said that I don't remember exactly what it means when you have zero reactions submerged in vinegar at room temperature versus adding hot water and getting a distinct reaction. Um, I said I thought it could be dolomite or some other carbonate. A lot of the carbonates will only react um, if exposed to the acid and hot water, or sometimes it even has to be powdered. Um, and the other is iron oxidization, uh, which I have a lot on these rocks, whereas over here, these mass crystals are kind of reacting, but not, not nearly the same, and we don't see that ugly brown film on the top. And so, I asked AI. I happen to have an app, Chatsmith, which I love. It's super easy, but I've also noticed that if you just Google it, the Gemini gives you really good answers, and uh, then even has links to um, the papers where it derived the information. And that's free. So that's what I did. And the result is da 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 da. Yes, these are probably dolomite or some other carbonate. Some of them are effervescing more than others. It could also be just some of that little bit of oxidization on there. But since it looks vastly different than this gross stuff, I'm going to say this indicates the likelihood of carbonate. So uh, remember that um, because we're doing the acid test or we did the hardness testing starting with, they're in here somewhere, I think. Did, oh, maybe I put them in the other one. So anyway, so that's, that's the deduction here. And here it looks like we could have some carbonates that are not calcite or aragonite, just like with these crystals. Um, but also iron oxidization breaking down with the hot water. And since it's very brown like this and forming that film, that is the most likely cause of it. So when we did the vinegar, submerged the rocks and the crystals in just the vinegar, I had zero reaction. I waited 15, 20 minutes. Then I added really, really hot water and this action started quickly and continues to grow. And then these over here look like they weren't doing anything. Can you see that? It's like champagne almost. See how there's just a little bit of bubbling coming off there? So that's what's going on. That's what we know from this experiment.